okay now in this tutorial about the UI manipulation what we are going to see how to create the new threads so how to put this logic into the new thread for that let me create new method see private void right new thread so I'll call this method over here into the new thread I'm going to do this thing okay now you know how to work with the threading in the Java create the thread see thread is equals to new thread right thread thread is equals to new thread or more superior way new thread you don't need the reference even new thread and you would be needing runnable I can write lambda over here dot start that's it so I have written lambda over here so this is nothing but the anonymous inner type you can write new runnable over here dot start that's also fine you can write the lambda in this fashion if you are using Java 8 now let me copy this things to this right now let me copy this thing over here right now impact would be a little bit different and now you'll see yeah now I would be getting my expected output but you are going to get one error typical error right let's see what error you get let me run the code and see what happens here you are on the UI thread and here you have created new thread here you created what new thread now see what what, what is happening see UI manipulation has stopped why answer is here if you can check this error not this this is not R now which is our application UI manipulation this is our app okay can you see this error only the original thread that created a view hierarchy can touch its views only the original thread created a view hierarchy can touch its views so clearly stating the error so you are creating some worker thread and you are asking that worker thread to get access over the UI element that's the genuine problem right you are creating one another thread and you are asking that thread to manipulate the UI and that's why you are getting this error clearly can you see what is the exception view IMPL called from wrong thread exception only the UI thread can touch its views the one thread who has created the elements or the views that thread can only change or manipulate the UI that is the problem now how to get rid of this thing now you you got to know one thing is that for such heavy job I need worker thread and for manipulation I need some UI thread that comes to you when you create the app so this is a your UI thread and this is nothing but the worker thread right so worker thread can go to the server and come back to the mobile and update the UI via UI thread so if this is a text box this text box if this worker thread want to update login successful means what you will do on the click of the login button you will pass username and password to the server server will validate and after some delay some 3 seconds 5 seconds 10 second delay it will come to your mobile once again and update the text field in that case remember that UI thread cannot go to the server if you want to go to the server right you need to use worker thread and here is the simulation of that thing this is a simulation of that thing worker thread will go to the server wait few seconds wait few delta second it will 
give you the response that response need to be added to the UI thread that response need to be added to the UI thread and UI thread should have to update the text view or button or whatever your views are this is the typical scenario means you need to have worker thread as well as the UI thread they should be communicating with each other means you need to have someone intermediate between this UI thread and the worker thread and Android has given you very superior thing something called as a sync task a sync task that we'll see in the next tutorial how that thing works or how a sync task will or this would be the async task whole async task which is divided into some phases right and how that update we'll see in the next tutorial right okay if you like our videos kindly subscribe us on the code cool right and get the more and more videos fine then